Okay, right, well, I've got a couple of Crystal Palace fans with me. What's your name, first of all? Uh, my name is Francis. Francis and Chris. Chris, okay. So, um, is this your first visit, first of all, to Dean Court, or have you been here before? Yeah. We haven't played you very often. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> obviously, we saying, yeah. obviously our first one. And uh, when we saw the fixture calendar, it's the one that all of us wanted to go. So you wanted to go in the summer, though, no? Yeah, you would have been. So we were planning a weekend away. We were planning away. a weekend away, the, but it yeah. didn't happen. It ended up yeah. Boxing Day, so two of us ended up coming. All the yeah. others have got stuck with family. Yeah. So. You're looking forward to it, so today, aren't you? Yeah, oh, of course, yeah, definitely. Okay. I mean, obviously, oh, at first we thought we might not play you again, but the way you're playing now, we probably will play you <laughs> yeah, next yeah. season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you're playing I was, now, I was gonna ask we're going to see you next season. Your expectations at the moment, I mean, you're in the top six at the moment, but you're, yeah. you're, you're only there on goal difference, you could almost be fourth, so what's your expectations this season? Is it European place you think you're good oh, enough we're for? We're going for you, Chris. Well, yeah, do you know what, obviously you've got to kind of temper the expectations sometimes, you, know? you look yeah. at it and you think everyone's tipping us to do this, do that, and you know, we're, we're only two seasons in the Premier League ourselves, so it's kind of, if we were to finish 10th again, it ain't a bad thing, you know, because like, there's still some massive clubs that are behind us in the league, you look at the Liverpool, your Everton's and things like that, over the course of a season, will it even itself up? I don't know, but the way things are going, if we can carry on the momentum we've got, then there's no reason why we can't get in the so top. What do you think Pardew's done compared to your last manager? What's he, what's he, is it his transfer he, policy? He's it? it's confidence, he, he feels at home. He wasn't wanted at Newcastle, for starters. He feels like he's come back home. We love him. He's next Palace player. <laughs> he's just got that good feel for the club. The players, the players respect him. The fans love him. Sing his name every single game home and away. So, he's the man. Pardew's the man. What's your favourite result so far that you've had? Because you had some... Yeah, oh, Newcastle home was a good one. Newcastle home yeah. was fantastic. Yeah, that was fun. Beating yeah. Liverpool yeah. away. Yeah. Another great result. That's, that's just so I mean, many. Yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> so, it's so been many. more bad than good, let's put it that way. You know, I mean, parts has turned the club around in, in a way that we could never have expected. I mean, we obviously, we all had high expectations with him, like Francis said, being an ex player and a legend of the club. But for him to take it on the way he has in the football that we play now, we're dangerous to any team in the league. You know? That's the thing. And you, yeah, I was looking at your goal difference. It's only, you've only let uh, 16 goals in this yeah. season, so are your defence maybe deserve to be talked up a bit more than they are at yeah, the moment? Got great defence. I mean, Scott Dan has been the revelation. Him and the lady in the middle. Our full backs are very good, you know, Soiree and Joe Ward. And our defence is great, and our, we've got a great keeper as well, Hennessy. He's only played about 18 games for you, so he's. Uh, he's coming confidence now that Wells has qualified for the Euros. He's kind of like stepped up. So, you know, he's great. Great, great for the defensive back line. So, uh, we're happy with the way. And the other thing I was looking, you haven't got um, one striker who's particularly in form. You, you <laughs> kind of <laughs> spread it around a bit. Yeah. So, you got the you got Kabai. And, it's uh, so you funny got... what you're saying, because we're talking about in the coach that we need a striker in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's the one thing I think we lack. If we had a potent striker, I mean, you look at some other clubs, like I said, Everton, Lukaku, people like that. A player that can do that for if we had that in us, we would easily get in the top so six. But your strikers are great, you know, big now. I mean, we've come in for Glenn Meyer. Do you think he was the right one for you to sell or not? We, for for me, I would have kept Glenn. Yeah, I would have kept Glenn. Yeah, but then sentimentality away, he's going to get more game time here than he would have at Sellers. Mm. That's the only thing you can look at, you know. He's on a, you guys are offering him good money. He's, he's, he, come, he still lives on the south coast as far as I know from when he lived in Brat. So, it, logically, you can kind of understand why Glenn wanted to move. But he'll always be held in high esteem. We love, we he's love a, he's him, a legend in the club. He is, yeah. for me personally, I think he's better than what we've got at the moment. He is. That's yeah. my personal yeah. opinion. Yeah. Yeah. He has yeah. said yeah. if he does score today, he won't celebrate. So. Oh, well, we were kind of doing <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. He's probably going to score. He'll probably score the wrong end for us. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he remembers which way he's playing. Right, the other thing I was yeah. going to ask you is um, that you've had quite a lot of investment from the US in the last week. It's about 50 million uh, yeah. straight off and then another 50 probably. I think it's yeah. um, David Blitzer and... Well, it, uh, Josh, Josh Harris, Harris, yeah. Harris yeah. And so, do you, are you pleased about the new sta the stands being changed? And you say, you say need it, Sellers yeah. Park? Sellers just need yeah. renovating for God knows how long. People go there and they say, oh, it's a dump, it's this, that. Yeah. I mean, but it's our dump. If anyone can say that about anyone's <laughs> ground. People say about Goodison Park, yeah, West Ham, yeah, yeah, you go yeah, to yeah. those grounds and you go in there and you think, my goodness, this is from the 50s. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. But it's, uh, it, this, I mean, obviously, you've born with it's 11,000. I mean, I mean We've never said we've stayed in the Premier League. We're not used to. We go to these like amphitheatre things like Anfield. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's got a family character here. Well, 
good but club. But it needs clubs like football needs clubs like this in the Premier League. It needs ourselves. It needs Bournemouth and teams like that. The smaller teams to not to not stand up to the to the bigger teams. You've enjoyed this season, have you? With we all love the it. shock oh, results. We love it. No one <laughs> is scared of the big teams at all. Yeah. You know I mean, you look at it at the moment. Stoke are beating Man United too as well. So I mean, which is always fun. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> always good to see Man United lose. But, um, but no, I mean, there has been some. Like, yeah, I mean, Chelsea. Like you beating them as well. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Glenn scoring the goal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to admit, I did cheer that. So we, we, we love that one. As well. Even better when he was offside. But there yeah, you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I was going to ask you about today as well. What do you yeah. think? Are you are you confident? I mean, you've won 11 in 16 away games, so yeah. you're likely to score by the sound of it today because yes. we always let one in. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you going to school? Are you go? Can you, can you win it? I think we, I think we, can, we don't have any fear when we go away because our, our counter attacking uh, style of play suits away matches. Some certain times we struggled at home, but we're finally getting it together at home as well with some of the latest performances. But yeah, we have no fear coming to Paul. Yeah. Sorry to say we're going to win. <laughs> we're going to win. I'll be honest, like, I'm, Francis is like, yeah, yeah we're confident. Yeah. It's yeah. a tough game. Yeah. It's a very tough game because you guys are playing decent football yourselves. You play good football. Probably not the right time to play us, but it's, yeah. yeah. But I think it'll be an open game. I mean, both teams want to attack. Yeah. That's one thing. Mm. We're not going to come here and park the bus to a Chelsea and just sit there and try and hit on the break. We do hit on the break, but we do it with pace and flair. You know, mm. and that's one thing that we do. Have. Should be end to end. Today, Should be a good game. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much for your time. Nice to meet you.